The Stars and Stripes show is brought to you by the U.S. Embassy. Well, it's Gabs FM Power to engage your world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Stars and Stripes radio show, proudly brought to you by the U.S. Embassy in partnership with Gabs FM. And of course, Swift and Samantha will be your host. It's an absolute honor to guide you through a journey of insightful discussions, captivating stories, and of course, inspiring moments that celebrate the essence of the American spirit. Today, we shine a light or a spotlight on the Academy for Women Entrepreneurship, otherwise known as AWE, a groundbreaking initiative that empowers women around the world to unleash their entrepreneurial potential, break barriers and create lasting change. And of course, join us as we uncover the remarkable stories of trailblazing women Mm. who have embraced the spirit of AWE, transforming their dreams into thriving businesses. And of course, the one of the most important elements is championing economic growth and empowerment within the Republic of Botswana. Now, let me tell you an interesting fact, uh, Samantha. Fun facts. Let's go. Africa has the highest rate of entrepreneurship in the world and is the only continent on which women account for the majority of entrepreneurs according to World Bank 2019. I can believe that. You believe that? Absolutely amazing. When are you an entrepreneur yourself? But you know this, Swift. No, I can I have to double check. Hey, you have to double check. Yeah. But it's 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 not about me. Let's get straight into this discussion. Um, Go ahead. We've got two guests in studio, but um Akisi Moleki introduces somebody who is um not a stranger to the to to the show. Uh, her name is Wabile Tau, who is the Emerging Voices and Alumni Coordinator. Hi Wabile, how are you? Hey Sam, hey mm. Sue, it's been a long time. It's been such a long time. You know, I've been teasing you off a kire or latile, but you know, you did explain Hore, you know, elevation, and we're very, very happy for you. But you know, yeah. we are excited to see you in person, and thank you so much for joining us. We'll get back to you, but you are not here on your own. We've also got an amazing, phenomenal um, young woman. Her name is Gatleho Mokheti, who is the founder of Market Players. How are you, Gatleho? I am great. I'm uh, great. I'm loving the weather outside. I'm right? very pleased to be in the Purple Studio. I haven't yes. been here in a long time, so oh, this my goodness. such a perfect excuse to be back. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Lovely. Thank lovely. you so much for gracing yeah. us. Wabila, I think we're going to start with you. Fantastic. We are definitely going to start uh, this conversation with you were talking about the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs mm-hmm. and for somebody who is listening and they're just like, okay, Academy for, women's, for, for uh, Women Entrepreneurs, what is it? What yeah. is it about? What happens there? What's, wh- what's the why? Why do you guys do what you do and what are you hoping to achieve with it? Well, thank you once again for, uh, for actually gracing me and allowing me to be in the Purple Studio once again. And I love being missed. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, like that. I guess objective has been fulfilled. I was yes. missed. But c- coming back to your question, when we're talking about the AWE for short, which mm-hmm. is the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs, goes back to what Swift actually mentioned about, you know, women actually making the bulk of the entrepreneurs in the state. Yeah. And so the program on itself is uh, trying to promote women uh, to become economically active. Mm. So it is a way to actually build uh, capacities and offer women resources to participate meaningfully in in the economy. And it actually directly supports the U.S. national strategy on gender equality and and equality, equity and equality. Sorry about that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so in a nutshell, we're really here to just say all the women that are in business planning to do business and who are currently running this small, large, medium enterprises, mm-hmm. we're actually trying to get them to learn the skills to yes. grow their businesses Absolutely. and network, give them the resources. And it helps them in terms of the resources. You know, as they are part of this, they they are, they get online education, yeah. peer-to-peer mentoring, and they also have access to a global network of other entrepreneurs across the globe. So it is one of the key aspects in which the U.S. Embassy in Hebron is trying to really promote equity and build relations and build the economy of Botswana through what is already on the ground. Mm, We're just yeah. enhancing and we're just trying to say you can do better, you can do more and this is you can do that through this program. 
Well, I mean, woman entrepreneurship is a broad concept and you did touch on, you know, the spectrum starting from grassroots to whether, well, let's call it large scale entrepreneurship. Does this particular initiative uh, target established women, upcoming mm. women? And of course, within the umbrella of women, there is the girl child. So just touch on and give us some form of direction in terms of that. I love that because the whole program is in itself is, is in spectrum. So mm. it's from grassroots to even well established. Uh-huh. So you do not need to be a woman who already has a thriving business. You could actually be a, 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 a woman or a young woman who is planning to launch. Mm. And in your capacity to launch, you actually don't know how am I going to do it Uh business you know everybody wants a business proposal this program takes you from learning the basics of drawing up a business proposal how do you market it how do you price it and how do you actually scale up and so sometimes you might actually be in a medium enterprise maybe enterprise mm. who is bringing lots of money don't deny it. Yeah. I um, receive in Jesus' <laughs> name, I receive. <laughs> yes. I like that. And you actually are looking at now, how can I How can I scale up, mm. right? Or you are like, um, that's like, oh, who is also with us here. Probably your, your enterprise is at a, at a stage where now it requires investors. Mm. So instead, before you going there, boys and girls, mm, you actually go through that training of how to pitch you know how to actually do a a convincing and yes. effective uh, business pitch mm-hmm. and you can actually lobby for investors mm-hmm. uh, we've seen number of uh, young women but mm-hmm. who have gone through this program and have scaled up or have literally launched their businesses. You know, we underestimate soft skills and the importance of, you know, networking, elevator pitches Mm. and things like that. I think that is something that we need to teach a lot more entrepreneurs across the spectrum because, you know, the elevator pitch and your ability to storytell or articulate your vision Mm. as an entrepreneur can be the difference between deal or no deal. Yeah, definitely. Um, Wabila, I'm loving this conversation. Conversation. So you're speaking about literally walking hand in hand with Mosadi um, Olongkori is in the entrepreneurial space. Now let's talk about programs because I'm sure our listeners are listening and waiting. Is there a specific program that's ongoing for um, the Academy for Women's and Entrepreneurs? How do we become a part of that? Uh, yeah, how, how, what's the process? I love that question. Every time when I get it, I get goosebumps and I get excited. I feel like ululating because this program has been uh, ongoing here in Botswana since 2020. Okay. So we have three years implementing this program. Uh, so what happens is that every year, obviously, we have to make a call and ask and request that, you know, for funding to say, uh, the Department of State, U.S. government, we also want to run this program again this year. Mm. And so what happens is that we get the funding and then now we solicit for implementers who can now help us as what you know train uh, these young women yeah. and so currently we have um we are closing down um last year's 2023 awe program which okay. was run by now for them mm-hmm. and now we have two implementers that are, are that will be running this program in 2024 they actually started because mind you our financial year starts in september so we have okay. already in 2024 mm-hmm. in terms of the u.s embassy yeah. and one of our implementers is Kataro here who will definitely be drinking mm-hmm. right yeah. and then we have one of one the other implementer is Mibala Studios. Yes. Um, and so those will be two implementers. So for, for, for you to understand how it works, they run um, recruitment sessions. So right now I know Katlaka has started the recruiting. <laughs> so you go online and you ask them and you apply online and you are vetted. It's a really rigorous process yeah. because we cannot trade all because Botswana really has more women than men. Sorry, yeah. Seth. Mm, no. um, I think this I'm says blessed. a lot. I, mean, I think this says a lot no. about women, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Just population wise. Yeah. Ding, ding. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly along, pun intended. On the other side of this, we'll be speaking to uh, a 
very special woman. She's done so much. And, and if you've heard of the brand Market Players, mm. you must know. Let me read you a portion from their website. Women entrepreneurs tend to be very collaborative and they serve as great catalysts for circulating income within their immediate communities. Yes. Over 60% of, of our entrepreneurs are women and are heightening their business knowledge, skills, networks, and links to high value markets improves livelihoods of African communities because when the woman owned owns businesses they thrive and guess what the whole community thrives I thought I think it's only fitting that we play something that speaks to you. I think this might be an anthem for independent for women, women worldwide look out for it you're on the stars and stripes radio show proudly brought to you by the US Embassy Charlie's Angels come on, come on. It's Gabs FM power to engage your world. And of course, those men that are not insecure will embrace the independent woman. Maybe you should go to church and get delivered because today and to, in today's day and age, we encourage independent women. And you know, one thing that we were speaking on the show this week is that it's time for a woman president within the Republic of Botswana. That would be interesting. You know what I'm saying? We were, we were discussing it on the show to say, you know what? Yes, we've given my I mean, we've had the past five presidents, not to say that they didn't do well they or did, they did. Yeah. We appreciate uh, their level of service. But, you know, we need to open up political leadership to women to say, you know what, they can lead us. But on the other side of this, we'll be speaking to Katlero uh, Mukhiti on the other side of this. And we're going to be speaking about market players and what it does within the Republic of Botswana. I've also got to say that, you know, it's so important for women or if you are interested in any scholarship to the United States, I suggest that you become a subscriber of Market Players. It's a good platform for Banabalona. But moving swiftly along, pun intended, listen up. Attention to all soon-to-be WEDS event planners. Are you looking for affordable, top-notch photography and, of course, videography services? Look no further than Rhodes Video, your trusted partner in capturing unforgettable moments. We're excited to announce our exclusive half-day photography special starting at only... 1,599. That's right. You can now enjoy stunning photos and videos of your special day without breaking the bank. Don't miss out on this incredible offer. Contact us today at 7352671. That's 7352671. WhatsApp only or visit www.roadsvideo.com to book your date and secure these amazing memories. Roads Video, where your moments become timeless. Remember, on all promotions, terms and conditions, Conditions apply. On the other side of this, we're going to be speaking to market players. Look out for that conversation. The Stars and Stripes show is brought to you by the U.S. Embassy. Now, listen up. Katlero Mukheti is a visionary leader and, of course, a duo with seven years' experience in business and entrepreneurship. She is the founder and executive director of Market Players, an entrepreneurship development nonprofit working to improve competitiveness of startups and small to medium enterprises within the Republic of Botswana and, of course, on the continent of Africa. Through her transformational leadership, Market Players has gained over 350 subscribers. More than half of them are women and youth. Of course, Katlaro believes that Africa can develop into effectively and timelessly through entrepreneurship and innovation. She also invests her best energies on training founders as well as improving their access to markets and funding opportunities. Samantha and I have spoken at length about the importance to market access. One thing that it's one thing to be an entrepreneur, it's another thing to understand access mm. to market. Katero, welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you so much, Sue. I am good. I'm feeling good and I'm excited to talk about a program that empowers Hours, the people that I value most, uh -huh. I believe, are really pushing the envelope in terms of empowering communities and trickling down uh, economic opportunities. So just to let you know, Samantha and I have what is called uh, the Midday Fix Republic Cabinet. Okay, <laughs> we, we appoint people. We yeah. don't... We don't, there's no necessary democracy in that element, but it's our, <laughs> it's our little fun way of doing things. Yes. And we would like to appoint you the Minister of Entrepreneurship Yay! in our cabinet, okay? 
So you <laughs> must just you, know. Sir, yes, you, you must just know that is coming your way. Samantha, let's move. Look, Katlova, let's get straight into it. Um, and I think I'll dub you superwoman because clearly, yes. clearly you are such a super phenomenal woman. Oh, We're talking about the Academy of Women Entrepreneurship. Let's talk about the key objectives that are there. Um, programming yeah. And also just how this program contributes uh, to the empowerment of women, something that uh, you're very, very passionate and uh, about. Um, how does it contribute to make sure that uh, from you know our communities are empowered and they're able to get into the entrepreneurship space knowing that um, you know they, 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 they have um, a, a certain level of knowledge? Mm. Um, you know, I think one of the things that is very unique about women entrepreneurs is the challenge with them is they don't have good pro. It's not that they don't have good products or they mm. don't understand uh, in terms of services and market gaps what's not there. It's mm-hmm. the positioning element of it. You know, um, I, I think women in terms of building social capital around um Business, it's a thing that is a bit difficult for them to kind of unlock mm. because most of the time you're running your business, you've got uh, issues uh, at home, you need to take care of the kids, you mm. need to take care of the household, you need to. So, you know, they've got those unique challenges. Their male counterparts can afford after lunch, yes. uh, after work, to say, let me go for drinks w- with the guys and network a little yes. bit. And, mm. and probably because the truth is, when you talk about business, and we, we cannot de-link social capital to it. True, Most I like of the time that. we think it's the hard work and the great mm-hmm. products and whatever. It's who you know, how you know True. them. Have they seen you do the work and all that? And mm-hmm. are you well positioned? So one of the things that we're really hoping to achieve with the Academy of Women Entrepreneurs that is implemented by market players is to really impart knowledge and value to women directly mm-hmm. and really make it, tailor make it for their specific challenges and their mm-hmm. unique needs, you know, and open up networks. And when we talk about networks, that's where the social capital element comes in. You know, we want women to understand that they need to put themselves out there. And I know it's always very difficult. It's mm-hmm. a difficult conversation to have that, you know, a woman can't just be there everywhere, whatever, mm-hmm. talking mm-hmm. to whoever. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you need those networks. You need to be well positioned with the right people. And then access you know uh, just being able to have access to market access to funding opportunities yes, access yes. to the right people mm. right which is one of the things that we really love about the Academy of Women and Entrepreneurs because it also then after they graduate in this program they become part of an alumna mm. uh, a community which means they are lifelong members of this community which they can always harness all over the world because remember the Academy for Women and Entrepreneurs is not just the Botswana program yeah. yes. it's in Im- so many emerging uh, uh, economies right now it's running in 100 countries wow. mm. you know from 26 and 2019 now in 2022 we had 100 countries running this program so imagine being part of a big global community like that mm. what can women do with these opportunities we believe there's so much Botswana women can harness in this yeah, that's amazing. And of course, that also shows the, the backdrop of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Mm-hmm. There's opportunity for women. And on the continent, we are the fastest growing youth population yeah. of the globe, which means a market. Let's talk about qualification in terms and conditions in terms of, you know, who can qualify for the AWE program. And of course, educating our women within the Republic of Botswana, how they can qualify. Yes. for this great program. Yes. Um, you know, when we tailor-made this program, we asked ourselves who and what is it that we're looking for and what do we want to achieve, right? We know Botswana is signatory to so many trade agreements mm. which are underutilized because we ourselves, the entrepreneurs, don't even know about them, yeah. don't even care to know about them. Even if we hear a mention of that, we don't even bother to read that document and see what Very we true. can open up. Yeah. Botswana has been signatory to the uh, uh, African Growth Opportunity Act for well over, I think, mm-hmm. close to 30 years now, <laughs> if I'm not mis- mistaken. But you still find that our utilization rate of the uh, uh, Goa Trade Agreement, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. our counterparts, such as Lesotho, such mm-hmm. as uh, uh, a lot of countries in sub-Saharan Africa, your Nigeria are utilizing them very well, your South Africa. But the reason is we, the entrepreneurs, are not unlocking this opportunity. Yeah. So we said, okay, there's a 300 million market in the U.S. Botswana and the U.S. have a very good relationship that we've always had for years and years on. So there's an opportunity for products that Botswana to enter the U.S. market, right? Mm. So we said, okay, for us to really 
unlock this for women entrepreneurs? Which sectors should we look at? We then said, what is Botswana's priority sector? Because Botswana has a national strategy for Agua, which is led by the Ministry of Trade and Industry, yeah. right? And Botswana has identified seven sectors. The sectors are leather and leather products, it's textiles, it's uh, horticulture and agro-processing, natural and indigenous prod- products, meat and meat products, jewelry and semi-precious stones, and handicrafts. Your arts and crafts, and we know what a lot of women, especially in rural communities, yes. are already in these sectors. Mm. So with this program, we're really trying to get women from all over Botswana to participate. And we're very intentional about this because we don't want it to be an urban area mm-hmm. impact only. We want mm-hmm. peri-urban, yes. we want rural areas. And as we are rolling out the application process and looking at the applications and start trickling in, and the Botswana women, I need to give them credit, they are applying. Yeah. And their, their applications are really, really strong, you know, mm. very, very impressive. But we're constantly asking ourselves, okay, how do we make sure that there's representation in the rural yes. areas where we really need to be giving women access to economic opportunities? What we've observed as market players in the past is you will find where they are participating, right? So, right? Yes. And sometimes it's possible that they end up in the US market, but it's only because She's selling to me. Mm. Uh-huh. Then I take them with the US at a markup. Yes. What we want and we're intentional and unapologetic about is for this money, this these US dollars to go directly in the pockets of the women. Mm. Remember what we've got leather. Uh, that yes, uh, with, with a very organic process, yeah. which the U.S. market is big on. We've mm. got natural products. Yes, yes. They are making products from Murula, from um, um, baobab uh, seeds, and uh, all these kind of things that you find naturally grown. Bobo, Singapore, you know, kibo meba ba di rando di 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 product is amufuta ona most of the time. You know, and our thing is, we want their products to come to a point where they are competitive. Branded well, compliant with FDA regular regu- FDA Food and Drugs Administration. Mm, yes, yeah, it vets these things in home one. Dina lady certificate is a rules of of origin. It's called super rich or But you can enjoy a duty free access to the US because if they get duty free access into the US market, they will be price competitive. Yeah, right. Like because yes. they're already cutting the cost of yes, right. Yes. Yeah. So these are the things that we want to happen, and that is where about me to come and be part of this program so that not only are we teaching them how to scale up their business, how to formalize their business and get to a point in where they are really operational, but they are able to export. Yeah. Botswana has a 2 million people market. It's a great market. It's a high income, middle to high income economy. But the truth is it needs to be augmented True. because the numbers alone are not sufficient for you to scale Thanks. a business. And really at large scale. We don't yeah. want them informal. We don't want them SMEs. We want women running big corporation that can even be multinational corporation. And we believe that Bomeba Botswana have the potential and they can do this, right? So we want out of this program as we're running it over the six months period, mm-hmm. take these women through this program yeah, where they'll be learning online the, the, the basic training. It just needs 25 hours of that time in over six months. So because we understand that women... Wait, wait 25 hey, hours 25 over six hours. months? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The yeah. online program really, it doesn't... It's, it's very flexible. Okay. And the reason that is, is we understand entrepreneurs, but we, they are busy. Mm. We also understand that these are women, by the way, they've got very unique challenges. Mm. So our thing is always, let's meet our people at their point of yes. need. Let's tailor made solution for them, right? So our thing has always been, okay, how do we make sure that we go for something flexible? So it's just 13 online courses, 25 to 30 yep. hours a, 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 a maximum. But alongside those programs, I she will be taking her programs online wherever she is. That is why Rekopa access to a digital device. Mm. Yes. So, and yes. we're working with stakeholders to to create, to sort this issue. I'll explain and what, what we're trying Sorry, to do. Sorry, Kopa, this. can you put on your headphones so we can take a call and, and, and engage uh, okay. our valued listener? Gabs FM, Hello. good afternoon. Hello? On your headphones so we can Hello? call Hello? And, and, and engage. Hello? Uh, Hello, sir. You got Error. Ah, uh, listen, engineer. Ah, can't complain. How are you, engineer? Error. Eh, me, me also can't get in the tap. Thank you, Mozart. 
Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, hello. Okay, well, I would like to congratulate Meo it may impact on the value chain. Kana mungule mungu kuna leha kwa nangiteng, kuna leha nangi mpoteng. Those women may be good in crafting those um, um, baskets. Me, umu wali gudi mo kumaketeng, umu wali gudi mo transporting, umu wali gudi wawawawan. So, kiko reyano, maybe they should allow mungule mungu Send us a WhatsApp on plus two six seven three nine five six nine six two. Thank you so much. Well, you know, uh, I wanted to say, Katlero, uh, when I was in the United States, there was a platform called um, the Santa Fe Folk Market, mm-hmm. right? It's in it's in the state of New Mexico. And what they did is that they built an international market, but it's a strictly indigenous. Mm-hmm. So all the, and then that's where you can collide with the whole value chain, yeah. where you take um, grassroots and you introduce them to market and vice versa. Mm-hmm. And they created, look, you could do something like that where there was an Agoa station and things like that. Mm. But I'd like to let you and afford you the, the opportunity to speak to some of the callers. Okay. Um, th- I don't I, th- I don't think there was a question on the first one. No, so there I'll was just no jump question. on the second one. <laughs> but um, but yeah, yeah. you're in our cabinet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, I like that she brings up issue of value chain development mm. because we actually have it as a requirement mm. wow. for our contestants, for our participants. How is their businesses building into local value chain development? Mm-hmm. Right. So we're not necessarily saying we want the woman to also know what right. out there. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Because then she can she can bargain properly. Mm-hmm. Samantha, if I don't know, I'm gonna sell you the thing at twenty yeah. you're gonna be and you're gonna sell it yeah. at hundred dollars. Yeah. And I think that there's something fundamentally wrong with yeah. that because that is why we've got this wide well uh, income gaps. Yes. Yes. Hey, wow, we do not want to continue to have this kind of wealth gaps. So the thing is she needs to at least know so that she can lobby and bargain mm. like a real business woman, mm. yeah. right? Hey, and for her to become to a point where she can compete globally and even continentally, she needs to be having this information. Mm. So that's all I'm saying. And in the in the compliance, the reason we asked for local value chain development, we would like to see Mayor Superhuru, okay, I'm producing um, maybe saucy in a panel in Rula, producer panic, producer, the producer, the biscuits. There's this company that does really nice biscuits with my belly, you know. If she is able to also show her alongside my process of coming to manufacturing, but we full and pani. It, they're part of uh, the community and I'm impacting them because we want to see social economic uh, development we want to see value chain development but we want to see this value chain being moving within the country mm. because if there's too much of the uh, of the 
lack of inclusion yes. locally. Yes. It means mm-hmm. we're missing economic opportunities yeah. mm-hmm. in a single value chain. Mm-hmm. And we don't want that. And I think as a country, mm-hmm. this is an undertaking that we've made to say as part of our transformation and national development strategy, we need to ensure that we develop local yeah. value chains. Right? So we want the women to show us how are you impacting your community? Mm-hmm. I need to be seeing that for me to see that this is a business that is really serious about impacting mm-hmm. communities. Mm-hmm. Let me give Oabile yes. the opportunity. Yes. And also to... to to add on to that, remember this program has been running since 2020, right? So we already have over 300 alumni, mm-hmm. women who have actually from different sectors. We're talking about value chains. Mm-hmm. So within this platform, as they are being trained, they also have the opportunity to literally engage with this mm-hmm. 300 plus in Botswana mm-hmm. and these other alumni from across the globe to say, well, in this case, I have this. Can we partner you and me as an as a woman, a dear woman in in India, a woman mm. in Zambia, a woman in Ghana, and then in so doing, you are able to literally ensure that you build your value chain. We do understand that they may not fully understand it, but once they're in the program, that network, that peer-to-peer would actually enhance that value chain. Absolutely. So I really appreciate what what the call actually highlighted. Mm. Uh, Katler, you'd like to say something? No, it's fine. Uh, uh, Katler, <laughs> let me ask you about, you know, whether we like it or not, you know, our last call on Abu Agapani and we are somewhat culturally subsistence uh, farmers. You yeah. know, it's part and parcel of who the Get Rotswana away, yeah. is mm. at last. Let's talk about the agricultural sector and some of the opportunities Opportunities for smallholder farmers and what you envision as an entrepreneur and, you know, what we can do to sort of get that woman entrepreneur into the the, the, the destination that is of, uh, of milk and honey, for lack of a better word. Yes. Um, you know, there's so much opportunities in the sector, even here locally. You know, mm. uh, we're not just thinking about how to get women into the export markets alone. We're thinking yes. about how we can, through this program at the end of it, create market access into the local uh, 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 cha- um, stores and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So the reason is that horticulture is not the agro processing. Yeah. The very thing we've been talking about, your value chain development. Because but she's not thinking about how she can be making tomato sauce in that process. Mm. Yes. We want to see growth. Right, and that is what we're hoping to achieve. We want her to move from just thinking about kolema mo ploto nyakawe, and then maybe alonu direct sadin sa loebi di senyaka, and then that that that. But maybe she could just be planting them, selling some of them, some of them she's processing. Mm. Oban. So we're thinking about how can we train her. That's why we are talking about scaling. And the reason why we've said specifically in our requirements that we need women that are already enterprising. This is how we are running this program as market players. We've noticed in Botswana that there's a there's a gap in between start and 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 um, the, the startups and the the corporate. Yes. For lack of a, yes. So that middle sector, you uh-huh. see that little middle sector where where you need to be seeing scaling up. Mm. We lack support in that area. Uh-huh. So we took it upon ourselves as market players to say, how can we deal with this sector where that, that a woman gap, has been yeah. enterprising, but she's just been operating at a very subsistence mm-hmm. level. Now we want to get her to a point where she starts corporatizing because for you to export, you really need to be. Absolutely. There's a lot of compliance yeah. things that need you to get to that point of, of exporting. Mm-hmm. So we want to deal with this area, mm-hmm. and part of our training is not just the 13 online courses, is we'll be working alongside stakeholders to deal with issues that export readiness training to deal with issues of rules of origin. How do you make sure that your products are certified and the super hard Again, remember, we've got an issue with barcoding. And I think Botswana, we, 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 we are trying to work on this thing, but we need to work on it fast, right? Yeah. The thing is, Every time we use a barcode, it reflects on another country. Say, for example, most of them are, are using South African mm. barcode. Yes. How did you go to America? This is the product that's South, 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 South Africa. Africa. So even if you are actually exporting, mm. on record in Niagara Ring, South Africa, South Africa is, is a South African product. Yeah. And the quota. Oh, yes. 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 So we're not we're not showing any form of utilization, uh-huh. but maybe it's not entirely reflective of what's happening on yeah. the ground. Mm. Right? Yes. So those are some of the issues that we want to be dealing with in this process. So Marketplace is big on stakeholder engagement, huge on stakeholder engagement, because yes. we know entrepreneurship cannot happen without engaging stakeholders. Throughout our, our rollout, we'll be working with academia, we'll be working with um, 
a lot of parastatals and development agencies. I won't obviously mention them by name because some of them are still in talks with mm, them, yes. you know, but one of the issues that we want to be addressing in this process is just to ensure that we can come out of this process with at least of the 150, at least the botania and are ready to start yes. dispatching, to start mm. sending out samples and stuff like that. Okay, we're well, fast running out of time and I know what Samantha is going to say. We're definitely going to extend an invitation for you to come back on the on the midday fix reloaded because there's so much that we need yeah. to unearth from you mm. and I think I've made the right decision in terms of uh, making her the Minister of Entrepreneurship. <laughs> Samantha? But I, I think it's very important. You've been touching on um, details that you'd need from applicants here and there but I think it's important for us to also know um, in terms of timelines mm-hmm. um, and uh, um, let's look at those timelines quickly because I'm sure yes. um, we open applications on the 6th of November okay. uh, applications are wholly online you need to apply online there's a link on our Facebook page and all our platforms market players or market players BW that's uh-huh. market players Yes. Not place, play us. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, and then we're going to close applications on the 19th of November, uh, this coming Monday. So really, you've got this weekend to be working on this pro- mm-hmm. on the application. Mm. We've made the application really easy, I think, yeah. because we want the women to really be incentivized to participate, yeah. right? So you just need to really write a motivation mostly, and you need to have your company registered on SIPA. Okay. The reason we say this way, and again, Mm. very very intentional about it and unapologetic about it yes. I need to be sure that the, the, this business the woman has a stake in it she's got some equity in it and whatever we're investing in her in developing her in creating market mm-hmm. access opportunity she's got a legal stake in this business that she's not if it's friends. informal we are not sure <laughs> mm. if it's informal we're not sure whether someone else is going to end up taking that Absolutely. economic mm. opportunity from her yeah. we do not want that well let's get the fame power to engage your world will fast run out of time and of course we've had a great great show I think I thoroughly enjoyed and got educated today talking the Academy of Women Entrepreneurs and of course we were speaking to Katlero Mokhiti the founder of Market Players and of course please go to www.marketplayers is it dot Africa dot Africa please please and for the young person we know Botswana are always asking about scholarships they're always asking where can Banabarona you know obviously volunteer in line with getting a scholarship through the office that is Education USA. Please, please do the right thing. Katlego, you have blown up my mind. Thank you so much for being part and parcel. And, you know, on behalf of so many women, thank you so much for, you know, educating. I love what you said about the gap between the startup and getting to a fully-fledged enterprise. It's where the SMME plays, and Mm. that is the lifeblood of any economy. And at the end of the day, we need women to participate. Samantha, shout out to you. Any last words from you? Oh, I think uh, Katlego is amazing. Mm. (laughs) I know she's a... She's just simply that. Eh? So All right, moving swiftly along, pun intended. Remember, follow um, the US Embassy Botswana or Gabroni on all social media platforms. Let me tell you something. Uh, people like Atlejo collide with the US Embassy, and that is how you can get access to a great network. You know, I we Samantha and I would us, yeah. not know Atlejo if it was not for engaging with the US Embassy. So there are right. a number of opportunities that you can reap from the US Embassy as a woman, as a young person, and of course, as an entrepreneur. Those are so important. But moving swiftly along, listen up. Get to Home Corp today and express your style with this month's amazing deals. Get a seven-piece Bradford two-motion lounge suite for only 19,999 Pula. You save yourself 2,000 Pula. It's a spacious and has a two recliner seats for your comfort. Or get the Angelica three-piece bedroom suite for only 10,000 1999 Pula. You save yourself 2000 Pula with the Angelica Dresser Mirror for only 7999 Pula. You save yourself 1000 Pula. And the chest of drawers goes for 6499 Pula. Save yourself 500 Pula. Open an account today and get the best deals on quality bending, furniture, appliances, and of course technology with up to 36 months to pay. Home Corp 
mega store, mega saving. Terms and conditions apply. Ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, thank you so much for being part and parcel of what we call the Stars and Stripes Radio Show. Proudly brought to you by the U.S. Embassy in partnership with Gabs of F- Gabs FM, hashtag America in Botswana. And shout out to all the women entrepreneurs from the Republic of Botswana. Good afternoon. The Stars and Stripes show was brought to you by the U.S. Embassy.